Welcome to this uh, video tutorial dedicated to the integration of a TLB4 multi-channel weighted transmitter into an Ethernet IP network managed by an Allen Bradley PLC. The setup used in this uh, tutorial consists of an Allen Bradley 1756L61 PLC module, an Allen Bradley 1756EN2T Ethernet IP module, and a TLB4 Ethernet IP multi channel weight transmitter. RS Logix 5000, a component of a Studio 5000 package, distributed by Rockwell Automation, is the tool used for the system setup and programming. The documentation required for the integration procedure consists of uh, the communication protocols manual for the TLB4 and the specific EDS file for TLB4 Ethernet IP. All the documentation is available for download to Laumas customers on the TLB4 specific web page of Laumas website. Before uh, using the programming software to obtain a correct Ethernet communication, we should properly configure both the 1756 Ethernet IP module and the TLB4. Acting on specific hardware selectors, the 192.168.1.1 IP address has been assigned to the Ethernet IP module. Whereas the T for TLB4, the procedure to follow is uh, access uh, to the instrument menu and uh, select the Ethernet item, select the IP address parameter and access the A, B, C and the items to set the 192.168.1.170 value compatible with the address assigned to the PLC Ethernet IP module. Access the subnet and the gateway parameters to set values compatible with the IP address. In this case, we'll leave the default value for the subnet uh, parameter. There's one. While we set uh, 192.168, dot one dot two value for the gateway the swap parameter defines the byte order used for the data exchanged on the ethernet ip bus the default value is kept at no corresponding to the little indian notation some more details about this parameter will be given later in this tutorial Now we can move on to the RS Logix 5000 interface. A project is already open in the controller organizer window, IO configuration section. You can see the current structure of the Ethernet IP network with the 1756 backplane in which the 1756L61 PLC module and uh, the 1756 EN2T Ethernet IP module are installed. The required operation to include the TLB4 instrument into the network is to import the TLB4 file, EDS file, into the RS Logix 5000 catalog. Access the Tools menu and select the EDS Hardware Installation Tool item. A specific wizard starts, click on uh, next and uh, select uh, register an EDS file. Click on uh, browse and uh, select the TLB4 EDS file. Click on uh, next until the procedure is completed successfully.
to add the TLB4 to the project's Ethernet IP network in the I.O. configuration section right click on Ethernet and select new module. In the selection window uh, that opens, type uh, TLB4 to filter the available modules, select TLB4 and uh, click on create. A window opens to specify the module configuration. Fill in the module name e.g. scale 1, click on change, select exclusive owner as a communication mode to set the cyclic data exchange with a PLC and click on OK to return to the previous window. Set the address previously assigned to the TLB4 in the appropriate IP address field 192.168.1.170. Click on OK to confirm the settings and click on Close to return to the main window. Now, to check the correct communication between PLC and the instrument, from the Communications menu, click on Download. The project is uh, compiled and uh, downloaded to the PLC. Once the download has been successfully completed and once the PLC is returned to run mode, access the logic menu and click on monitor text. The window that opens shows the data exchanged on the network, sorted using the communication contained in the TLB4 EDS file. Select the X format for both the input and the output data sections to view the data in hexadecimal format. Using the TLB protocols manual, it is possible to properly manage this data. In the section dedicated to the Ethernet IP interface, with the use of a EDS file, as in this tutorial, the table to refer to is uh, the one relating to the 32 bit run idle either communication mode. Among the input data received by the PLC, we have the four bytes that make up the current gross weight value. The four bytes that make up the current net weight value. The four bytes that make up the output exchange register. The two bytes that make up the status register value and so on for the other parameters described in the table. With uh, reference to the current values, some observations regarding the weight values management. The two values are currently identical because no tear is applied. For both of them, the absolute value is transmitted, including the decimals, but uh, without the decimal point. 
Each value is uh, made up of uh, four bytes. In the case of the Ethernet IP, the order in which the bytes are published by default is the little Indian. Therefore, the bytes of lower value are the first. At uh, this moment, for example, for the gross weight value, The lower value bytes are 4a and 0a, while the higher values bytes are 00 and 00. If uh, the opposite order is uh, required, called the big Indian, just set the swap parameter in the Ethernet menu to yes. In this way, the bytes of lower value are the last. The choice among uh, little or uh, big Indian notations is often related to the automation system and uh, used software libraries characteristics. The same notation used for weight values, big or little endian, is used for all the published values with a multiple byte size, for example, status register or exchange register. The information about the sign of the weight values is available in addition to other information regarding the operating status of the instrument in the bits of the status register. In the protocols manual, a specific uh, table shows the meaning uh, assigned to each of the 16 bits that make up this field, particularly bits 7 and 8 indicate the sign of gross and net weight equal to 1 when the corresponding current weight is negative. Bit 11 is equal to 1 if the current gross weight is stable, otherwise it shows 0. Bit 10 is equal to 1 if a tear value is applied by the instrument to the calculated net weight. The other bits that make up the status register, as shown in the table, provide a series of uh, useful information to monitor the operation of the weighing system, allowing to recognize hardware faults or specific weight conditions. For example, if the gross weight is equal to zero or greater than the maximum allowed weight. Among uh, the data output from the PLC, it is useful to focus especially on the command register field. This 2-byte value is used to send specific numeric codes to the instrument, each of which corresponds to a request for execution of a specific operation. All the numerical codes allowed and the relative associated operations are available in the protocols manual. For example, we can test the operation of the command codes for the semi-automatic tear operation. Code 7 to perform a semi-automatic tear and code 9 to remove the previously applied semi-automatic tear. Considering the little Indian notation currently applied, writing the code 7 in the least significant byte of uh, the command register field, a semi-automatic tear operations is required. Once executed, the net weight value is zeroed and bits 10 and 11 of the status register changed to 1, signaling an applied tear and a displayed weight value equal to 0. 
To repeat the same operation several times, it is necessary to interpose the writing of the value 0 in the common register to the writing of the numerical code corresponding to the operation. For example, applying this sequence we can perform a second semi-automatic term after applying a, an additional weight to the scale At this point, writing the command code 9 in the command register, the removal of the semi-automatic tear is obtained. The gross and net weight uh, values are now equal again, and the bits 10 and 11 switch to 0 accordingly. This concludes the tutorial. Thank you for attending it. See you soon.